Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Agmanov and Loginov. This is the game from Moscow Open Chess Tournament that was played in 2016. Agmanov had white pieces and he started with e4. Loginov played c5, Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, and now bishop to b5, check. What is the best move for black in this position? Logino played knight to d7. Well, bishop to d7 and knight to c6 are also playable. And Gary Kasparov used to play all of them. Logino played knight to d7. Agmanov cast at king set. a6, white to move. Bishop takes knight, check, is the most played move. Second most played move is bishop to e2. Agmanov played bishop to d3, not so common. Well, kids are advised not to play move like this, because this is preventing d4 or d3. Black to move, knight to e5 was played. Well, knight from g to f6 and uh, e6 are very sensible moves. Knight to e5 was played, intending knight takes bishop. But white has horses for courses. Knight takes on e5 was played. d takes on e5, a4 preventing b5. Knight to f6. Knight to c3, b6, bishop, bishop to c4 in order to play d3, bishop to b7, d3, e6, queen to f3, bishop to d6, and Agmano played queen to h3. Black to move. Suddenly, black is not so confident to cast the king side. Hmm? Most likely because of the presence of Her Majesty the Queen on h3. So, Logino played Queen to c7. Actually, castling is not such a bad move. If castling bishop to g5, h6, and black is okay. Queen to c7, bishop to g5, threatening bishop takes knight black to move how would you continue bishop to e7 would be the best move knight to d7 was played removing the target but this move has a downside what is a downside why to move? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Agmanov sacrificed the bishop on e6. If you get two pawns plus an attack for a sacrifice piece, it is usually a good deal. Pawn takes bishop, queen takes pawn check, king to f8. White to move. How would you continue now if you had white pieces? Hmm? What is the best move for white? The best is f4 in order to open the file. E takes on f4. If knight to f6, one line goes like this, f takes on e5, bishop takes on e5, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop, check, pawn takes rook, queen takes on f6, check, king to g8, rook to f1, rook to e8, rook to f5, intending rook to g5, h6, queen to g6, queen to g7, queen takes on e8, check, King to h7, 
Queen to f7, easily winning for white. In the game we have pawn takes pawn on f4. White to move. What would you do now? Agmano played the best move. Rook takes pawn on f4 check. What a lovely move. Bishop takes rook. And the whole purpose of this rook takes bishop was... Can you see best move for white now? The purpose of rook takes bishop was deflecting the bishop from defending e7. So bishop to e7 check, king to e8. White played the move and black resigned. The move is bishop to f6. Black resigned in view of this continuation. King to f8, queen to e7 check, king to g8, queen takes pawn on g7. Check, mate. Very clever play by Agmanov. And let's go back to this very interesting moment of the game. This is the position. Did you see the killer move? If you did, congratulations. How many moves did you guess? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.